Dear learners, hope all of you are well. In our previous class, we have discussed about primary occupations. Now, in this class, we will discuss secondary occupations. Okay. You can see here in the picture the diagram of occupations and as I have told you little bit earlier that today we are going to read secondary occupations. Okay. You can see here in the picture that secondary occupation is based on the processing of raw materials obtained through primary occupation. It means that the raw materials that we get from primary occupation are used here in secondary occupation. Okay. In our previous class, we have come to know that these three occupations are interlinked. Interlinked means connected with each other. From this point of view, secondary occupations solely depend on the products of primary occupations. Do you know or do you want to know how? Okay, let's see. Now, look at the pictures. What can you see here? You can see here the picture of milk and uh, picture of hen and egg, picture of jute, picture of paddy, picture of wheat, picture of oil sheet. These are the products of primary occupations. That means in primary occupations we get these types of products. Now we will see what we get from these products. Okay, let's see. Here in this picture you can see the picture of milk and milk products. You know milk is processed in the factories and we get butter, paneer, ghee, cheese etc. from it and these are very tasty and healthy food isn't it? Here in this picture you can see the picture of jute and jute products. What are the jute products? Okay, see here in the picture jute bags and sacks are made of jute in factories except these rope and many fancy articles are also made of jute and we can use it in our daily life and it is very eco-friendly too. So, we should use jute products. Okay. Now, here comes the picture of tea leaves and packaged tea. Tea leaves are processed in the factory and we get packaged tea to drink. Actually, at first, tea leaves are plucked from the garden and then the leaves are processed in the factories and packaging is done. Okay. This is the picture of oil sheets and oil that we get from oil sheets. At first oil sheets are crushed in the oil mill and we get oil. These are different oil sheets and we get different types of oil from these oil sheets. Okay. In the same way 
we get rice from paddy obviously different types of rice from different types of paddy we get flour from wheat eggs are packaged and meat is canned in the factories wooden articles are made in factories from wood latex is processed to make tires gloves and different types of rubber products that you can see here in the picture all these products that we have got through the use of the products of primary occupations come under secondary occupations so we can see that secondary occupations totally depend on primary occupations the class ends here and we will discuss about tertiary occupations in our next class